Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are back again with another POD problem solving video. This is the last POD of the fall semester and the name of the problem is Simple Tetris. So without wasting any further time, let's dive right into the problem. Alright, so let's read the problem statement and try to understand the problem. So the game of Tetris involves blocks of various colors dropping on top of each other. If four blocks of the same color are stacked on top of each other, they disappear. Otherwise, the height of the tower keeps on growing. You will be given two queries. Type 1, add a block of given color to the Tetris stack. Type 2, tell the current height of the Tetris stack. And uh, then input format is, will be given Q, number of queries. Okay, the sample input tells us. So we stack green first on top, then red, then red. Okay, so let's just visualize it quickly. Right, so... So it says something like if I have a, um, if I have say these three green colored boxes, let me just quickly change my pen. Yeah. So if I have these three boxes, they'll be stacked on top of each other. But if four or more boxes of same color are stacked, they disappear. So say suppose if I have red color and I start, sorry, let me use pen. Yeah. So if I have red color. One, two, three, four. I have these four now. These four will disappear totally, and the remaining. So, right now, uh, let's let's start from the basics. So, if I we are given queries of the form like this: one green, one green, two. Then we are said one green, one green, and let's say two. Right? Let's let's try to compute the value. So what's going to happen? What I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this quickly so that we can start from the beginning. All right. So let's say we have uh, let's 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 use one green. Right. So one green means we are putting one green box onto the Tetris stack. Right. So one green box done. Now we have another query of type one with green another thing done now we have query of type 2 which asks us the height of the tetris stack right now so the right now the height is 2 we have two green boxes stacked on top of each other now the next now the next thing is uh, one green again a green box right then again a green box now how many green how many boxes of the same color are stacked on top of each other there are four right so in the question it's mentioned if four boxes of the same color are stacked on top of each other they disappear so all of this will disappear and we'll be left with an empty stack so when this query comes this query the answer is zero at the moment because we'll have one two three four stacks boxes four stacked boxes of the same color so the answer is zero. So the answers we print is two and zero. This will be the output in the standard output that we print from the problem. So a very simple problem. What we do basically is, so like let, let's try to think in terms of algorithm, how we can do. So let's just say when I add a, I add a box, I add another box. Let's say I add another box of red color, all right. Let's say I add another box of yellow color now. Oops, this is like a little weird. <laughs> Let's make it a little better now. Yeah. Let's say we add a box of yellow color. All right. And then again a box of yellow color. So now the condition of this four boxes stacked on top of each other disappearing can be true only if the length of the stack right now is greater than or equal to four, right? Because if there are not four boxes, we cannot disappear. We cannot make anything disappear. So what we do is now when the length is greater than or equal to four, right? This length. So now in this case, the length is five right now. As soon as the length becomes greater than four, we check if this box, if the last four boxes in the stock have the same color, if they have the same color, then we resize this stack size to the current size minus four, right? That's the basic algorithm. Every time something is inserted into the stack and the size of the stack is greater than or equal to four, we check if the last four values are greater than, are, are of the same color. If they are of the same color, we remove those last four values 
and uh, like this is how we maintain a stack and any time a type 2 query is asked we just print the height of the stack right now or the length of the stack basically so let's dive right into the code into the next section all right so now let's talk about solving the problem in python right so i'll make a quick file named code.py i have all the test cases in this folder itself right and i have the corresponding output files as well now let's start the uh program basically so we'll have input the first line will contain q the number of queries and then we'll have uh queries of type 1 and type 2 so what we do is uh, let's take uh, uh, q equal to int input that's the queries and then i run for underscore in range q you can write any variable here i use underscore whenever i have to use a variable which i like don't have to refer in future then i don't waste any alphabetical name for that so i just use underscore for underscore in range q now let's take uh, let's say query equal to list of uh, str comma input dot split how we are going to find out find out if it's a type 1 query or type 2 query by the length of the query if the length of query is uh, greater than 1 then it's a type uh, 1 query otherwise it's a type 2 query so if len of query is greater than 1 then it's a let's comment it's a type 1 query otherwise it's a type 2 query right so if len of query now so let's make our tetris stack I'll call it Tetris T E T R I S equal to a blank list. Now let's in uh, let's see. So for type two query, the simple thing we are going to do is we're going to output len of Tetris, right? But for now type one query, what we're going to do first thing is append the current element that we get, which will be so color will be color that we get will be query of one, right? because zeroth index will be the type of the query and the first index will be the color of the, in the given color to be inserted into the tetris stack now uh, let's just do tetris dot append color right and now let's just so now as discussed in the algorithm if length of the tetris stack is greater than or equal to 4 then we can check for the last four uh, stacked boxes right so let's check for that so if now you can run a loop as well, but since this is a basic four, like checking only four things, I can run an if condition as well, right? So if uh, Tetris, uh, if Tetris of last index, if last element that is currently inserted is equal to the second last, and second last is equal to third last, equal to third last, and third last equal to the fourth last tetris of minus three equal to equal to tetris of minus four right let's just put this in a in a brace so that it looks better then we let then we just do our tet then we resize it so the resizing can be done using slicing so tetris is equal to tetris of slicing it from uh, zero to the index uh, length of tetris minus four right you have a suppose a length of five you're going to zero to length of five length of uh, basically five minus four tetris length is five right now consider an example so you go from zero to five minus four you get zero to one so you are left with only one element like that so this is it and then i think that's all right we what we have done is we have taken q as the input we have initialized a tetris list we have we are running a loop for all the queries we take the query if the length of query is greater than one it's a type one query we take the color we append the color and as soon as the length of the tetris stack becomes greater than or equal to four we check if the last four stack boxes are of the same color if they are of same color we resize the list the tetris stack basically and then if a type two query is asked we just return the length of tetris so let's see input one and the expected output one three five three so let's run so python three code dot py put one we get three five three one green one red one red so three boxes the height will be uh three at this case then we'll have green green so green red red green sorry green red red green green so at this time height will be five and now again two green boxes so we have green red red green 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 four greens together make them disappear 
and then the height will again become will come back to three the initial condition so three five three mm, okay all right so now let's check for input two as well uh, for input two we have one 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 a a one one a one a one one a a so all one two three four five six seven eight so the last query should definitely answer zero for the first query it should be three and then the for the second query it will be one so three one zero and similarly for let's check for input three it's zero let's check the expected out for input three it's zero input four also the expected output is zero and input four is this input five is this input five let's try with input five input five let's check the expected output five which is three one zero zero expected output was four was also zero and three was also zero so this is what the code for this problem is a very simple 14 lines of code nothing much to do you just you know kind of visualize in your mind and just implement the idea that you get in your mind well with that we end the discussion of the problem simple tetris an easy problem and next semester let's look forward to having more interesting and challenging problems so with that i if you enjoyed watching this video give this video a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to it as it is highly motivating for me and uh, i'll catch you guys in the next video until then take care bye bye